it's been like a year since I've seen you. What do you think of me now? <laughs> you have a mullet? Or something? <laughs> Time to clock in. All right, so you missed this. <laughs> so you can't have him anymore. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> your breath is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Mike sucks ass, so it's amazing to watch him. Welcome back to the Night Shift, ladies and gentlemen. You're working late, so are we. It's time to clock in. At the end of last week's episode, here's a piece of buttery toast for you. You said that we were gonna go to Lana's house. You and me, Mike, we're going over there and we're getting those signs back. Did that happen? No. Why I wanna not? Eat, I wanna eat the buttery Jeff, toast. Jeff, how, how fucking dare you? I wanna eat the buttery toast. Give him the buttery toast. Give it to him. Are you gonna eat it? Oh! Your whip's gotta be faster, Dave. David, you're being Whoa, fast. Who's, who's? Now, this is David. Who's throwing a fucking piece of bread? David, I'm impulsive. I have a show name that. Pay attention. Okay, if you have not yet liked this video, subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and do that right now. Also, if you have any interest in seeing uncut, uncensored, too hot for YouTube content, you can go see that over at otcrew.com. Okay, as you guys know, I've been talking about this for some time. I still, after three years, do not have a car here in Los Angeles. But I love how you manually have to open it. <laughs> Yo, this is what spells being rich in Los Angeles. A gate. Fuck. This Ron. gate sucks. But because of the fact that I have friends in high places, I give you my, my car. Okay, yeah, so I didn't buy this car. I'm just gonna say that right off the bat. It was given to me. I reached out to a friend of mine. I said, yo, I need a car to drive. He hit his assistant up and was like, yo, go drop Mike off. The 2021 Aston Martin DBS Super Legra, I think it's called. It's probably like a $300,000 car or some shit. I don't know, it might even be two, might be four. I don't fucking know. All I do know is it's extremely fast. I'm not very good at keeping it under control. It's not quite as wide as the Lamborghini, so sometimes it does like this. Wait, what does it do? Like this? <laughs> Before we leave, I'm back here today with Chef Eric, aka KSI Chef. <laughs> but who would you rather be a chef for, Logan Paul or well, KSI? I mean, Logan's by my house. He's been treating me great, so I'd have to. I'd have to. Take Are you Logan. saying that KSI didn't treat you great? No, he treated me awesome. He was awesome. He was. You're saying he was awesome. What are you saying about him now? Well, he's still awesome. Yeah, for sure. I mean. I haven't talked to him lately, but. Are you saying he's not responding to you? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. The first thing you might be saying right now is, Mike, that car is not quite big enough for you. And you're absolutely right. All right, here we go. Ready? Moment of truth. Yo, before we go anywhere today, I also want to say shout out to Wires Only on Instagram for hooking me up with the car for a little while. I appreciate you. Go check out Wires Only on Instagram. Yo, you guys, smash the fuck out over that tesla can i ask you a question ask me any question you want do i fucking know you dude do i fucking know you <laughs> what a fucking loser <laughs> and now a word from our sponsors what is wrong child well strange wizard man my girlfriend and i broke up a couple weeks ago and since then my noodle's been a little soggy if you catch my drift it happens to the best of us just take one of these next time and boom to the moon Gee, thanks. Not that it matters anyways. I cut off all my side chicks from my ex. Now they all hate me. Are you sure about that, Michael? Come back to us, Michael. Come back. Come back. Well, what are you waiting for, Michael? Are you forgetting something, Michael? We're fucked. We have nowhere to live. The other house, the other house we were looking at sold for $22 million. We were supposed to move into it, and now we're gonna get stuck at this shithole. Why are you saying that? I'm kidding, bro. It's beautiful. This is, a, this is a great place. This place isn't even a lock either. I might be homeless tomorrow. More importantly than this phase member is this giant thing. What's going on? Standing to my right. What's going on? Yo, on, if man? you have died in a game of Warzone in the past year, you were killed by this man. 100%, 100%. You already devised, man. One of the best Warzone players on the planet, but also brings a, a, a vibe. Yes, sir, What's yes, good? You're in LA. You know what I've noticed? When you're on YouTube, that little raspy part of your like, the, my, I like my coffee black, like it comes out <laughs> yeah. on camera. So the one problem we've been running into in this new house on somehow is finding a house to spend $75,000 a month on. Like, why is that so fucking hard I in the don't city? Know. We're talking about me living there, you living there, Rice living there, Summer living there, Aiden living there. I don't even know if they know about the Summer thing. Well, they do now. <laughs> just, bleep, just bleep the name. Out, I'm not maybe. bleeping anything. Listen, let me ask you a question. No, the, the, I'll, the, I'll fucking the throw fuck, you in the face. <laughs> Have you, bro, oh, as you yeah. always said. <laughs> Banks, what are these boats, bro? This, you couldn't even escape a zombie apocalypse on these things. Look at that boat, bro. You promised me a lake that I could swim in. This is a, a lake of sewage and rust. 
Faze is gonna come in, make sure everything's cleaned up and Ricky, please. We were, I thought we were going to a twenty-two million dollar house in Beverly Hills. This is a twenty-four million dollar house. By the way, also can you zoom in on that volcanic eruption in the middle of the lake? What is that? Was that a methane this leak? Is a man-made lake. This well, is what a... is that? Is there a, a, a nuclear submarine down there just waiting to come up for air from fucking Modern Warfare 2 about to shoot a nuke off oh. when somebody gets a 30 bomb? All right, all jokes aside, this place is fucking beautiful. I'm just messing around. $24 million pad here in Burbank. Great pool. What are we going to be doing in it? Fucking bitches, making money. Whoa, well, I didn't <laughs> sign up for all that shit. Oh, yeah, you have a girlfriend. No. Oh, he's just going, <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, you son of a bitch, <laughs> talking shit the whole time, I had, to, I had to slip one in there. I do have to let you know right now that I have taken a vow of celibacy for 2021. That's, that's not true. <laughs> not true. If you want to play into it for the camera or whatever, like if that's going to be a meme, sure. Sure, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, uh, dude, happy for you, that's awesome, you could do it. You could definitely, that's super realistic and awesome. You know what? I'm doing it too. I'm doing it. I'm doing it too. On the last episode of the Night Shift, I gave Umami Burger the highest score in Night Shift history at 9.4. Logan gave me shit about it, and now Banks is saying the following. Umami's not a moderate speed burger place. I'm pretty sure they even- they they, All right, I've heard enough. I've heard enough. When both Banks and Logan tell me something at the same time, it's probably right, because they don't agree that on really everything. Happens. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I take nothing back about the quality of the food there, but I am going to have to revoke Umami Burger as the king of the Night Shift's moderate speed burger battle. And uh, that means Shake Shack is back in the number one spot at 9.3. Coochie coochie coo, Logan. Coochie coo. Get your fucking coochie off me, Mike. <laughs> We're back here with Logan Paul now, uh, who just got off the phone regarding the Floyd fight. Logan, is there a date for the Floyd Mayweather fight yet? Not yet. Not yet. Good things come to those who wait, Mike. Jeff Mayweather, uh, Floyd Mayweather's son or brother, uh, something is saying the fight's not happening. Have you talked to Jeff Mayweather lately? Here's what else he's saying. Roll the clip. Um, and, and the thing is, is that it is not just. If you listen to anything that guy says, if you can even understand it, you're a moron. We should go see the psychic. I see what yeah. you're trying to do. You're trying to be Logan's assistant again. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> I invited you here today because my girlfriend left me for another man. I needed a hot chick for a thumbnail. Let's just get it over with. You could leave us and we'll never fucking speak again. All right? Is that good? I saw you longer than six months ago. I think it's been like a year since I've seen you. What are you thinking of me now? <laughs> you have a mullet or something? <laughs> <laughs> Here at Matter Media. That's, uh, that is my dad. You want to say hi? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Turn to Fat Albert. <laughs> it's your favorite people! <laughs> We're all here. Alright, what are you doing there? How did you end up gracing these guys with, with your goodness? GP, let's be honest, you're fucked up right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know Mike well enough, don't take G6. Uh, G6? Uh, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm down bad. I'm down bad, dude. I'm, 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 I haven't been sleeping really well. Why? Uh, my girlfriend GTA. left me for a, for a woman. Are you pink, pink promise? No, I can't do that because I've told you the different reasons she's left every time in this episode. None of it's true. <laughs> <laughs> No what reason. is it because you can't grow up? Incompatibility. What's wrong with you two? What the fuck did I do? This is phenomenal. Oh, there's bacon in it. Well. She goes, <laughs> <laughs> Nothing says a good burger like turning it into a pterodactyl. Oh my god. <laughs> and then puking in your hand. There's a lot. Too much meat for you? You guys are the worst. <laughs> In all honesty, with these go-to uh, staple burgers from these restaurants right now, it's all the same fucking recipe. It's a really good burger patty, cheddar cheese, and some form of special spicy mayonnaise or special sauce. There's not much juice in the meat. Like, it's a little, it's a little dry. Let me taste that. Yeah. This excites me. There's a lot going on here. Burger, bacon, egg. That is fucking good. Okay. I'm at a crossroads right now. Usually I base the score off of the staple burger. I think I'm gonna have to continue that because otherwise Whataburger people are gonna get mad. They've always wanted me to get the patty melt. It's not the main offering. I won't taste your ancillary burgers. If you have a burger at your restaurant that is your staple burger, you better fucking do it right when I come through. I'm not kidding with you. I'm not fucking playing. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Look at me, aspiring burger restaurant. Whoever thought you'd you become a burger connoisseur at 36. <laughs> What does age what have to do with anything? I will give kudos to these, honorable mention. I can't rate them, but if you come here, get the ultimate egg or the French onion soup burger, those are incredible. The stand burger <laughs> itself, I'm gonna give a, uh, I'm gonna give it a 6.8. 6.8 stand burger, nothing wrong with the place. This is just not a standout to me. These two, on the other hand, like if I could rate these, this would be probably an 8.5. I'd have to give mine a nine. Really? All the way up there. It's a hardcore nine. Yeah. You got your Bitcoin? You got your crypto punks? You got your trade stocks, anything? It's highly unattractive that you're uninterested in diversifying your portfolio. I. 
Uh, okay. I hit my ex with that line in full seriousness. <laughs> I said, I said, it's highly unattractive that you're uninterested in diversifying your portfolio. <laughs> she went. Well, hey, can we get one one time for the one time? A little silly. Kayla! Wow, I almost forgot to sign off for this episode. As you can see, I'm editing the episode behind me on the computer right now. I'm sitting here, the episode's about to end. I'm like, holy shit, I didn't fucking sign off. So now I'm doing it right now. Guys, that's the end of today's episode. If you haven't liked this video or subscribed to the channel, please, for the love of Jesus Christ, go and do that right now. If you wanna see uncut, uncensored, raw footage, behind the scenes stuff that I can't show you here on YouTube, it's at otcrew.com. We just added a brand new giveaway on the site. You could win a trip out to LA a stay here, a burger rating with me, and a thousand dollars cash, otcrew.com. But yeah, other than that, that's it for this week's episode of The Night Shift. Thanks so much for working late with us. We are clocking out. Peace! Come back. Come back to us, Michael. Slow, really slow, really soft. Come back. Come back to us, Michael. Like you haven't seen someone in a while and it's like okay. very ghostly. I, don't think I can look at you. Can you like go over there? So I'll, I'll leave. I'll just walk out. I have to leave. I just can't look at you and Come say back. It. You said it's too big for me. David, <laughs> and you can't do anything in English properly. Thing. Why don't you just speak to me in German? It probably would work better. This auto is too klein for me. There you go. <laughs>